boys and girls welcome you to another episode and this is going to be our last episode for the season so today's project you have all summer to do it it's a little bit hard but you got all summer to do it and guess what if you submit all your drawings in and your sketches in I'm gonna take the best one and you're gonna win this limited edition print that I did as a painting years and years ago and I'll sign it and I'll number it and it'll be so cool hanging in your room. And we're going to dedicate this painting or this sketch today. We're going to dedicate it to all the EMS and the firemen that are out there that are working really hard for us. But I have a new friend for the club and his name is Sparky. And Sparky's got a red jacket on because he loves anything that's red, especially fire trucks. And we call him Sparky because he's just full of energy. And I think he's just gonna love today's episode. So we're gonna put him here so he can kind of watch you guys do the drawing and all my friends here at the Motor Kids Club. And uh, let's get started. So what I've already started, this is gonna be tough. So make sure that in your piece of paper that you draw this way, long, this long V. And this is called horizon line. These are called perspective drawings. So as a professional artist, when you do perspective drawings, they're really kind of tough to do and you really got, there's a lot of lessons to learn perspective. But we're gonna try to make this one really simple for you. So if you can draw this, this kind of shape here and draw a little line here and start off with that. Take your time to do it and draw it really, really lightly because we're gonna be erasing a lot of these lines, but this is gonna be like guidelines like we did for the hot rod. So once you have that, and I'm gonna use my longer ruler, and then I'm gonna draw a little dot here. So if you follow this line all the way across and draw another little line here as well. You got that? Now, I've got little targets here. So if I want my tri fire truck to be about this big, then I, you draw a line there. If you want it smaller, you draw it smaller. And then I'm gonna put another little line here and then to try to make a box. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna draw the first little line. So we're gonna kind of go all the way up like this. Got that? Then let's do another one. Got it? Then we're gonna do another one there. And then right at the very end, so as you're coming down, this can go right off the page if you want, just like that. And we're gonna go where it's really, really wide. And see the distance that I have here? Try to do about the same. And then we're gonna do another little line all the way up. You guys got that? And then we're gonna follow this through and roughly in the middle, you're gonna see another little line so you want it the same kind of distance and you're going to go across here now whoops my line didn't work my magic marker didn't work kind of like that so you got that so far i know it's hard it almost looks like one big big wall big tall wall got that now this is where it becomes a little tricky because when you're doing perspective this way and perspectives are or when you're looking at a road and it can only go so far and it comes out this way that's what perspective means it goes all the way to a horizon line usually you have them here here and you can also have them in this area too but we're, we're going to try to do something really simple so what i want you to do is from this point you always have your ruler there so i about uh, let me see here i'm going to put one just about there so just like that and then I think I'm going to do another one almost in the middle but a little higher than the middle so right in here almost in the middle but just a little bit higher than the middle it's going to be tricky whoop there goes my my magic marker again I'm gonna do a little squiggly line to get my marker working again probably because it's the end of the season the markers are drying up and then I think I'm going to do maybe another one all the way up here like this. 
So don't forget, we're doing a fire truck. And it'll be something similar to this one. This is an old one, but it'll be something similar to this. So you can kind of relate to that. Now, what do we do? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the front of the truck first. So you got the center from here, all of this. So I'm gonna go from this line over and I'm gonna kind of do like a, a V a little bit. So it goes off to an angle a little bit. You got that? So it goes off to an angle. So it would go to this horizon normally. Then we're gonna do it again, another little line. So that kind of creates the side of the bumper. And then we're gonna go like this and like this. Then we're gonna create another line that goes all the way up real close. Oh, there I go again, the marker. Like that. Now we're gonna go from this point over and see how the same angle? We're gonna kinda kinda straighten it out a little bit. Just like that. Oh, there goes my eraser or my my magic marker. I think I'm gonna go use the blue one. And then we're gonna go up in the center. So right about there, gonna draw a little line. Okay. Now I can go all the way here too if I want. And I think I will. I'm gonna go up like that, follow my line all the way up. And we'll stop it right about there. And then I think I'm gonna go like this. Hmm, guys got that? This is tough, it's really hard. But you got all summer to do this. Now we're gonna carry these lines like that, up like that. And then this one we can kind of go like this. And then I'll darken this again. And then I'll darken this one. And I'm also gonna darken these. So that could be the front of the fire truck, like the big windshield part. Now we're gonna go up a little bit and do a little curve. Again, we're gonna follow those lines all the way up. Okay, so now we're gonna go like that. And then what we could do is put you know those bright lights that they have like that on top and then this is the windshield and then we can put like a little dash steering wheel how's that now directly underneath here we're going to draw another little line use your ruler same same way as that one we're going to go like a t draw a t then we're going to come across and then we're gonna do three lines. One, two, three. And then go like, whoops, like that. One, two, three. So that's kind of like the grill. And then they always have a bunch of lights. So we're gonna do the circles. And then the circles for the bright lights. And they always have a really cool badge here. Something like that. Yeah, don't forget, we can put windshield wipers if you want. Like that. Got that so far? Now, a lot of times they have areas here that are open for the hooks for the winch, or you can put another little light here and another little light there. So now I think we pretty well got the front. So let's work on the side and the roof. So now we're gonna do the roof, follow the same line. So, so this is something that you gotta follow all the time. So you, you, you kind of move your ruler this way. Now we so, have the roof line going across. We're always using this line, right? Remember what I just said there? We're using that, so we always try to use that. So now if we did a front window, you kind of look at your space. You can go darken this line and go kind of like that and like that. So you divide that in three, three areas. Got that? So now we're gonna do the line that we put before. So we're gonna go down and then go down and then we're gonna go down. So this is like the side window, and then there's always big mirrors here. So we're gonna put a big mirror, and then we're gonna put inside the window here. So this is all glass, similar to that one. This one's a little bit different. And actually we can put another line here. So this is one dark window, there's another dark window, and this is part of like the door. So now in the middle of this box, we're gonna go all the way in, right in the center now, we're gonna do like a big fender. Something like that. 
And then again, the lines that we did, we just follow that line, draw in there. We can do the door. Usually the, the front door kind of goes like that. And then they usually have another door here. And then we can put another emblem here. And then a lot of times they're, they always have numbers. So let's put this one as number one. Got that? Now remember that one of those lines that we did? That should almost be in the center right there, like that. Now we're going to do this shape here. Let's call it an ellipse. Remember we did those before during our lessons? So we're going to do the same thing again. So you try to stay really close to the inside. Follow that line, that curve, just like that. And then we're going to go over and then we're going to, and that's going to make the tire. So something like this here. Oh, it's a little wiggly. Something like that. And then follow the line. You would have the tire here, the other side. You like that there and it would be dark. So you can do the treads. And I'm just going to do these like that for now. Similar to that. Now I'm going to erase my little dot and I'm going to do the rim inside. So nice little circle like that and you can put some something like that. And then we can and you can darken this one too because this would be really dark. It would be in shadow. But always follow this. Always follow the line. See this line here? Should be the same line all the way. Actually, we can make this tire a little bit bigger, just like that. And then something like that. Now we're going to continue the rest of the body. So we're going to go that line that you did, you're going to continue all the way, all the way. Now we're going to do the back tires. So you follow this line again. Remember, you always got to keep moving this around. So if I keep that in the center, that rim is about from here to about there. So we're going to do the rim. Just so a little bit of a guide that we know that that's where the tire is going to go. Now, now we're going to move to the, the back part. So we're going to follow this line. Like I always say, we've got to follow the lines. So this is going to be the lower part of the truck. Then we're going to do um, this piece is going to go like that. Now we're going to do a little edge and sometimes they have gauges here or lights. So now it comes out a little bit like that. Now they have a lot of almost like doors that are on the fire truck. So you can follow that line and that line and that line. And then I think, you know what, remember I said something about the back of the truck? I think this one here, I think I'm going to put it right about right there. So that I'm going to erase this line here because I don't need those anymore. Cool. Now we're going to do the big curve. Just like this one here. Remember we did this? Same thing. Then we're going to put the ellipse again. And this ellipse is always a little bit different. And they usually have two big tires in the back. Something like this. I'm going to put little dots in there. Like this. Something like that. How's that look? It's starting to look really cool. Now, what are we going to do? Let's finish the top. So, a lot of times the ladders are hooked up to kind of like a, a spiral unit. Now, we're going to follow this. We're going to put like a piece there so that it can go up and down. Something like this. Now, remember these lines that we put up there? That could be our lines to the ladder. And then we go up like that. And make those a little darker. Hmm. We're going to follow the same line. We're going to go underneath again and go a little bit past that line. And go across this way. And then we're going to do the other side of the ladder. And we'll, you know what? We'll make it simple. We'll just bring this line right out to that. Now we can put some lines so we can go like this up and down. Just like that. And then these ones would go this way. So it's like underneath the ladder. Like that. And then we can put, um, sometimes they have another unit that comes underneath and that has a little nozzle and it's kind of like for the hose and water shoots out. So something like that. 
Hmm. What else do they have? And they also have a lot of really cool stripes. So let's have, have a stripe that goes from here to there. And then again, we follow this little line and we match it to this point and this point. So it'll be just like this. So I'm gonna follow that little stripe. Like that. And then again, this point, like, like that and like that. And then we can go across this way and we can go across that way. Cool little door handle and they always have lights everywhere so we can put some lights here or even here and they always have a little antenna and what's missing you see anything how about if we put a little flag and this one we can put a little american flag so seven stripes one two three four five six seven cool now we can erase a lot of these little lines. I'm going to do it with my finger because, well, I'm going to use my big eraser because we don't need those lines anymore. Those were just guidelines. Oh, eraser's too big. Cool. You could put a little bumper here and then we can put some bright lights there. And I'm going to fix my stripe. And then what we can do is Put a shadow across so we can get, eliminate that, that little line, something like that. And we'll eliminate this little line. And then this big one here we can eliminate because we don't need that one anymore, but we need it there and then we don't need it here. And then this could be like the side of the road, right? Put a little bit of grass. And then we don't need these lines anymore. So this is where I can use my big eraser. So we don't need those arrows anymore. There we go. How's that? And then we could probably put a line here too. That'll kind of help divide these panels. And then they always have like like almost like little cabinets that are built inside because they have to put their hoses and things like that. And then their hose runs right across up in here. And what's missing? We can put, how about if we put a fire hydrant? That's really simple, like this. And then we could put a little bit of water here. And then we could put a big hose, kind of like this, that's attached. So the water comes out here. And you know what, let's put, maybe a house way back in the background like this with some trees. And then I'll take my red marker and maybe I'll, maybe they're having a fire back in there that they're taking care of. You know, and we'll put you know, the smoke up in there. So, because they really save a lot of lives and they save a lot of property. And we gotta give these guys a real big salute because they're so great at, at helping our neighborhoods and things like that. And then we can put some homes here you know, maybe put a big building and maybe another house here and some trees for some sceneries and then some windows and then a door and the roof. And then, you know, my favorite clouds, like always and the little birds and some grass here. And there we go. And there is our fire truck episode. So I know it's really hard to do, but if you take your time, you could do it and you have all summer long to do it. And please submit it in, go to my website, right? Motorkidsclub.com and you can enter all your drawings. And at the end of the summer, there'll be a big prize as well as winning this painting that I did. So, oh, I forgot, got to sign your name. Don't forget to sign your name when you enter it. So Motor Mark and my big smiley face. So you guys gotta do that too. So with all my friends, I wish you a great summer and have a great time playing and having fun. And if you can take a little bit of your time and if you like drawing, try to draw this one. This is a tough one, but again, you got all summer long. And real quickly, this is Ted. 
Ted designed and took my lessons and did this uh, beautiful MG, the classic car. That was his first classic car. He did a great job. And we also have another one here, a little girl that did the dragonfly. And, uh, it's so, so cool. She put some stickers for the flowers and all that. So you gotta keep submitting in. So there's a whole bunch of drawings on the website. You can take all those projects. I believe we had 10 to 12 projects that are on there and take your time and draw them. Keep submitting them in and being part of the club. And when you submit one in, we'll get a badge too. We'll get a badge out to you as well. So from all my friends, have a great summer and thanks for tuning in every week. Bye.